You know, uh, I would say in some ways not challenging at all because Tom's vision from the very beginning was let's stay authentic, let's be as real as we possibly can. And I, I think I was nervous, although as anyone who knows me knows, I'm always nervous. So, um, but I was a little nervous about, you know, how are we gonna keep six characters alive as opposed to two? Uh, but, you know, I think once I had committed to it and we started doing the research and we started working together, it was in some ways freeing to be able to just write towards what the actual story was. And, you know, writing with Tom is perhaps the greatest, uh, the greatest partner I've ever had as a writer, so it makes everything easier. You know, uh, I think we both spent a fair amount of time in Boston uh, in school and grad school and then going back up there. Uh, it really is a character. We talked a lot about insiders and outsiders and the particular nature of that town, uh, specifically, you know, with Robbie and Mike, but also Marty, who came as an outsider, uh, as he was called an outsider. And he had a very specific view. I think one of my favorite quotes from Marty was, he said, most towns on the eastern seaboard face the water, face out. Boston faces in, they call it the hub. And I think that tells you something about that place, um, you know, which I think is symbolic of the bigger questions of deference and complicity that are part of this movie. In terms of my beards? <laughs> I don't know, but you know, it's funny. I remember I had that beard and I just didn't think about it and I guess I looked really bad because everyone was sending me emails like, are you okay? <laughs> like not, not congratulations, but is everything okay? Uh, it's great, you know, it's great coming back here. I feel such an ease and kinship in that room with all the people and the spirit of it. I love the new filmmakers. I get really excited when I'm seeing clips of movies I haven't even heard about and I get to track down and uh, there's a lot of great young talent in there and uh, it's, it's the future of movies without doubt, right? I started there and it, it just, they, they're gonna keep working, keep making great things. So uh, it's an ex this is a really exciting day. I love this place. Uh, we spent time with them. We spent a lot, we, we had a long dinner with Joe Crowley, a long dinner with Phil Saviano, and we literally sat with them and then did a lot of reading. And, and, and uh, Joe and Phil and Patrick McSorley felt very much to be uh, emblematic. Uh, they were great symbols of, of all these survivors. Of course, we couldn't get all of them. There are a lot of women who were affected, which we couldn't actually get to. But I, I think that uh, really by going out to Phil and Joe and then going back to them, giving them the script again. Phil was on set uh, as we were shooting his scenes. Uh, and those guys are still, they're out there speaking for the movie and speaking about you know, the issue, which is one that sadly continues today. I mean, uh, it is a long, it is, I must admit, I've never been through a campaign quite like this. It is, in fact, a campaign. Uh, it is relentless. It's exactly why I'm not in politics. And, um, uh, but it's, I think one of the best parts is just getting to keep running into new people you haven't had the chance to meet or, or, or colleagues you just haven't seen in a while. And being able to sit in a room, even spend time with some of the other directors, some of the other nominated writers, uh, you know, Drew Goddard and I and Josh were hanging out last night, Lenny Abramson, you know, Alejandro uh, Adam, just some really interesting people I haven't had that much chance to spend time with. George Miller. I mean, just to get like 15 minutes with George Miller, that's just cool. So that for me is kind of the, the gift that keeps giving in this process. And, and then, you know, new friends and old also, you know, we have all the reporters here today. We have Phil out here today. Yeah. Uh, and to the extent we've been able to continue hanging out with those guys and hanging out with our wonderful actors. I mean, that's been really nice. Yeah. Thank you all.